So today, we have two hunters going head to head. The Indoraptor versus an Elite Predator. Who wins? Let's find out. So, it was a new artificial prototype hybrid dinosaur designed for combat and was created by Henry Wu. It had the DNA of the Indominus Rex in everything it had. It looks exactly like the Indominus Rex, just half the size and probably more dangerous because of it. It was strong enough to easily lift people by its mouth and easily toss Blue around like a ragdoll, even sending her across the room at one point. Despite its large size, it's just as fast and agile as Blue, and it can even run on all fours for greater speed. Due to its thick hide, it's very durable, as it withstood three bullets from an assault rifle at point blank range with little to no damage. Due to having the Indominus and Blue's DNA, it's very smart. After we Wheatley uh, supposedly tranked it. It played possum just to lure him in, but before it killed him, he, it was enjoying playing with its meal as it kept smirking before eventually uh, eating him. Not only that, but it's smart enough to be stealthy, which to me is what makes it more dangerous than the Indominus. It has a powerful jaw with razor sharp teeth, razor sharp claws, and even velociraptor like claw on both feet. And in the other corner is an elite predator. Predators are extraterrestrial species characterized by their hunting of dangerous species for sport and honor with their advanced technology. Elites are higher ranked with centuries of experience. They're strong enough to tip over a car with relative ease and can easily overpower humans. And they're durable enough to take multiple shots in the chest with a shotgun unfazed and they're surprisingly fast as well they're expert combatants and marksmen but what they're really known for is their advanced technology they wear a biomass which grants them night a uh, thermal night uv and infrared vision as well as being uh, bulletproof uh they wear wrist gauntlets that allows them cloaking to the point of almost complete invisibility a satcom and a self-destruct button uh, they have wrist blades, which are razor sharp and worn on these gauntlets and can be shot out of it. They have a plasma cannon mounted on their shoulder, which is their most powerful weapon. A gun that fires small spears. A retractable metal spear that can be used as a bow staff or a spear. A gun that shoots a net that has an automatic tightening mechanism and keeps tightening until the target's bones are crushed and they die. Knives can't even cut through it. Uh, they have a throwable disc fitted with several long fan-like blades around its circumference and can cut through virtually anything as well. So, the Indoraptor is physically superior. They're actually close in strength and durability, with both being able to easily lift uh, grown men and withstand several shots from guns at point-blank range and were just fine afterwards. But the Indoraptor is much faster. Predators are surprisingly fast for their bulk, but that doesn't compare to the Indoraptor since it has blue speed and agility. It's also bigger, bulkier, and has an incredibly strong bite force. It also has very sharp claws on its hands and feet and knows how to make full use of them as well as its tail. But this isn't anything new for an elite predator. They've hunted big and dangerous monsters across the galaxy for centuries, even the dinosaurs. Also, it's similar to the alien, which predators view as the ultimate prey. The predator is obviously the better fighter, but its gear and versatility is where it thrives. From its metal bow staff spear, to its thrown disc, to its retractable wrist blades, to its cloaking, to its uh, mask, to all of its other gear, the Endoraptor is going to have a hard time getting past this. But it's durable enough to take it, fast enough to dodge most of it, and its senses will help with the Predator's cloaking. Well, what about this shoulder-mounted plasma cannon? Well, it easily went straight through people and decapitated people, as well as killing aliens. But to my knowledge, it's never went straight through an alien before, and the Endoraptor is tougher than the alien is. Uh, I think it can take one, maybe two blasts from it before going down. But one well plays by and this fight is over. Let's also not forget about its intelligence. Obviously predators are smart, but I'm going to give this advantage to the Indoraptor. So which hunter wins? The one with experience, versatility, and skills, or the aggressive genetic hybrid designed to be a weapon? Well, I gotta go with the predator on this one. They have just taken down bigger threats than the Indoraptor before and have done so for centuries. Predator wins. 